Real estate brokers on Long Island are being sued for housing discrimination. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports undercover investigators posed as renters to find out what went on. Long Island residents say they were looking only to find an apartment to rent, but when they got pushback, a nonprofit housing watchdog group sent undercover testers to meet and call realtors. Hi, um, I was calling about the two bed at 255 Brown Street. I'm interested to come see yeah, that. It's available. Would I be able to use my voucher here? It's um, Section 8. No, she doesn't take any program. Without them going out and testing what's going on out in the community, the real story can't be told. The story? One dozen local real estate companies and brokers are being sued for illegally refusing to rent to those who use government vouchers to pay. We contacted several named in the suit who denied the allegations. Keep in mind who voucher holders are. They are families, they are children, they are the disabled, and they are veterans who fought for our country. Aaron Carr, founder and executive director of Housing Rights Initiative. It doesn't just hurt that family, it hurts taxpayers because homelessness is extraordinarily expensive. Real estate professionals are responsible for understanding that housing providers must accept all lawful sources of income. The Housing Choice Voucher Program is federally funded, administered by Nassau's Office of Housing. It provides subsidy based on income, rent paid directly to the landlord. I asked if I would be able to use a Section 8 voucher there, and they said that they would check with the listing agent, and I just haven't heard back. 20 Washington. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I remember. I, I did speak to the listing agent. Uh, the listing agent said that uh, they cannot accept that. They don't accept it at all? Yeah, no, unfortunately, they don't. The insidious aspects of housing discrimination are multifaceted. And this is just one ugly head that needs to get chopped off. Long Island realtors in recent past have been accused of redlining and steering. Advocates are demanding the state enforce real estate laws. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. The nonprofit Housing Rights Initiative wants licenses revoked of brokers who discriminate.